beautiful people welcome back to our page and thank you so much for joining today if this is your first time please like this video and share this page to one person if you find the content interesting so today uh, we are going to talk about another uh, update for study abroad and i'm going to be taking you to malta today's video about malta is going to be on proof of funds okay now let's take a look at uh, proof of funds and if you are thinking of studying in malta then this video is for you the proof of funds you have to show that you have a bank statement okay and this bank statement must be three months old it shouldn't be the last two months it must be three months or above but four months six months preferable okay and this bank statement must show the entire money that you need in your in your for your studies because you need money to take care of your studies and accommodation and living let me just put it living expensive so you need to show that you have this entire money in this bank statement and this money has to be readily available and accessible to you now how much is the money you need according to the maltese officials or the malta government you need to show that you have twelve thousand seven hundred and seventy five euros now in one of my videos on youtube i said um you need at least fifteen thousand dollars and a lot of people were arguing look when they say you need twelve thousand seven hundred and seventy five you can add more because you need more to convince the visa officer and remember with malta though you are not doing a physical interview for those who do not have the embassy in their home country but you would be called for an interview when you submit everything on identity malta if there is anything you don't understand here please go to my youtube channel check those videos about Malta and watch them. If you need a one-on-one -on -one with me, one-on-one -on -one consultation for call, book from this page. Now, remember, this proof of funds I talked about or I spoke about varies. If you already have accommodation that you are going to stay for long, you do not need all this entire money. All you need is 6,000 570 euros if you already have accommodation let's just say approximately 70 uh, 7 000 euros okay if you already have accommodation this is the money you need but if you don't have accommodation long-term accommodation i didn't say short term three months maybe two weeks 15 days no long-term accommodation because you have to show this document the accommodation contract to identity matter so don't do something that at the end of the day they'll reject your visa and you start blaming people make sure you follow due process okay then everything is good if you have all these documents you follow the instructions given by the school the school is going to send a message then identity matter will send a link to you you do everything then put those hard documents those documents you uploaded online put them in an envelope and send to identity matter then you wait for your interview after the visa fee has been paid this is how the process is for those who have been asking if you can move to malta with family it is not possible as of now that i speak okay food video like detailed videos are on youtube so please check the youtube channel and do not forget when you check like and share the video so today's video i want to talk about um tuition fee in swiss universities um schools in switzerland but before i talk about this uh, tuition fee in swiss universities i want to draw your attention to the fact that the language in switzerland is not english and switzerland speak four languages so before you migrate to switzerland you should know this another thing you should pay attention to is switzerland is a very friendly country and when you graduate in switzerland you are going to get almost the same opportunities like their citizens that is another thing you should put into consideration now tuition fee in swiss universities is very cheap like very cheap i don't want to be uh, to say affordable i just want to say it's very cheap it depends on which university you are going to attend again there is a video you are going to watch where i talk about the four different types of universities in switzerland which include federal universities cantonal universities applied science universities teacher training universities for applied science universities university of applied sciences they usually have a logo uas then for teacher training university teacher education university they usually have a a logo like is a sign uTE then for uh, federal universities they usually have eth all right so this is how you go about them and the other ones cantonal university so please if you see all of these when during your search just know that this is the type of university you are after now for tuition fee in swiss universities remember like i said it's very cheap to study in switzerland the problem now is the proof of funds because normally the proof of funds has to be in your bank account in a bank in your home country that is affiliated to switzerland or has a branch in switzerland 
for those in Ghana and Nigeria, take note. I think those in there is a video on my YouTube channel, so please watch the detailed video so you understand better. Or you create an account in Switzerland and transfer the money into that account. Okay, this is the way you show proof of funds, and the money must be 21,000 Swiss francs. That's Just like uh, 14 million CFA francs, I guess so. But again, you have to do your research. Now, for tuition fee in their universities, their universities, yeah, I mean Swiss universities, federal universities usually charge between 850 Swiss francs. This is equivalent to also 850 USD or 850 euros because the money runs fast and fast euros and dollars. Their money is not that bad, okay? It's a very good uh, currency, the Swiss franc, I mean. Then um, for cantonal universities, they usually charge around 1,300 Swiss franc, which is equivalent like as uh, 1,300 euros. And for applied science universities, they will charge like 1,250 euros swiss franc which is the same thing as 1250 euros so please you have to always consider the tuition fee like i said how much is 1250 it's almost free so if you have a school in europe that you are going to pay tuition fee like this amount it's almost free but the problem now is then that money you have to put in that account the money is to just to show to the swiss government that you have money to take care of yourself when you are in switzerland of course switzerland is a very great country and the currency is powerful they pay very well so if you are there the lock is yours the money is still your money you just need to put it there to show because some people they are usually like what if i don't you don't what what if put what if aside if you keep saying what if what if you will remain on the same position this is fact i'm telling you again the choice is yours i'm just here to pass information my youtube channel has a lot of videos i have more than 1000 videos there just type my name milton funkwa on the youtube search bar then you add what you are searching for you are going to get the video so i'm here to share another opportunity to study abroad and at this time i'm going to be moving to switzerland I want to draw your attention to the fact that schools in Switzerland would be opening their doors very soon for application. That is for the September 2024 intake. So, but before you apply to Switzerland, there are two things you need to know. Note that the schools are not the same, which I'm going to give you a breakdown of all of them. And equally, remember that if you want to study in Switzerland, you should have at least 21,000 Swiss francs in your personal bank account you either open a bank account in switzerland and put this money inside or you open a, an account in a bank in your home country that has a branch in switzerland there are more videos on my youtube channel so please go to my youtube channel and watch detailed videos of them my youtube channel name is milton Fonqua. if you need a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me please check the pin post on this facebook page thank you so much now if you want to apply to schools in switzerland please remember that there are four categories of schools in switzerland and i will be giving you the categories that you need the first category are those that they call the federal universities okay i'm giving you this category so that when you are doing your search you should know where to begin from there are federal universities in switzerland which include uh, eth zurich for those of you who have heard about eth zurich it is a school one of the top schools in the whole world it is a school in switzerland and this university as i'm talking to you it is open right now most federal universities their application period is usually november 1st to december 15. so if you have some or if you want to study in switzerland next year make sure you rush now and check the schools for you to know how to do the application just go to google type the name of the school then you add admissions by the side you search that is it you are going to read everything from the website then the other group of schools in switzerland like i said there are four categories this is the second category they are the cantonal universities those universities that are located in the various cantons you know if you've been watching my videos you will understand what a canton is so then the, these cantonal universities, their applications are usually from 1st of January to like the 20, 28th of February. That's around one month. Am I correct? Close to two months. But for federal universities, it's just one month. So, and I think there are about 10 or 11 cantonal universities in Switzerland. I'm going to be giving you the list very soon. Then, in, also in Switzerland, you have the other category of schools. They call them the Applied Science Universities. Okay, they call them the Applied Science Universities and their own application is usually from the 1st of January 
to around April, March or April, it varies. So this is something you should put into consideration. Then we also have uh, a part of the uh, Applied Science Universities. There is also another set of universities in Switzerland. They call them the teacher training universities. These universities will teach you more of the teacher section you get. So if you are to apply to universities in Switzerland, you now have a clear guide on what to follow. So this is all about this. I'm going to be bringing some universities for you again to follow. I hope this helps you till we meet again in another.